Hi, hello, hi. My name is Kaylee, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything backcountry and sustainability. Today, we are going to talk about some alternatives to single use plastic sandwich baggies in the backcountry. So, what am I talking about? Plastic sandwich baggies. I'm sure you have an idea, but um, this baby is what I'm talking about. We all know them, we all use them, um, and they do have their place in the backcountry, especially in through hikes, right? So everybody's trying to cut as much weight as possible. We need to, you know, send and use a ton of baggies. So if this is where you're at because of weight or because of price point, I totally understand it. Something that you can do to help prolong the use of these is just instead of throwing them out when you're done, washing them and reusing them. It'll help you with the amount of plastic that you are contributing. Yeah, they will still shed, be shedding microplastics, right? There's not any way around that. But if you utilize one bag for a month instead of using, I don't know, let's say 30 bags in a month, that footprint is going way down, which is awesome. There is also a compostable version of these. Um, they're like kind of like a light green color. It looks like what you'll use in your kitchen compost little bin. Um, those are available. I just don't have one with me today. So you can Google that and find some. Another option is this guy, which looks shockingly familiar right it looks just like the one we just had except for this one actually came with the tv that i had like eight years ago it came with cables inside of it and i was like hey this is the perfect sandwich bag size i will just wash it and reuse it so i literally had this for years and years and just continued to reuse it so as long as you're not like super rough with them and you're not you know like getting in the corners and like stretching everything out or using super super pokey foods or putting pins or something in these these will really last for a very long time again your footprint is going down you didn't buy it you know you're reusing something and you're giving it a new life that's super awesome so let's talk about our next option silicone bags there are tons on the market now um, th even the big name, uh, sandwich bag guys, they have a version of this now too, which, um, this version and the like larger box brands, um, are recyclable through TerraCycle, which is awesome. So if you accidentally rip one of these guys, you can send it to TerraCycle to be recycled. I'm super jazzed about that. I just found that out the other day. So keep that in mind and check out TerraCycle. Um, these guys are made from medical grade silicone. So a couple of really cool things about these for the back country is that you can put boiling water in these so you can use these to rehydrate your meals, which is awesome. Uh, the only downside is that they're pretty heavy, right? So the weight difference is going to be really significant from those like other single use plastic baggies. And these are not only can you rehydrate in these because they're medical grade silicone, it's safe to rehydrate in them, which is great. Um, they uh, have this like kind of like mock zippered area right up the top, right? And you just squeeze it shut um, and it will keep most things from spilling out. But if you have a liquid in here, like if you're rehydrating, I wouldn't recommend just tossing it in your backpack and going about your day and waiting for it to rehydrate. It can leak. So a option to solve this is Canuck actually kind of made their own version and it's got this little fold over part here. This is actually quite difficult to get open, which is good um, because it helps water not spill out. So that, that like fit is quite tight. You just need to mess with it several times and then it'll start to kind of flow a little bit better, but it's super watertight. So same situation as that um, silicone one. It can have boiling water put in it. You can rehydrate your food in this guy. All you do is you fold over this tab, this uh, like solid color tab folds to the inside. And then you just put the top, you slide it back on the channel and then you let it rehydrate. 
So there are a couple things about both of these bags that you need to keep in mind because it is not like heat protected, right? There's not like a shield on it. If you, even though it can hold boiling water, it will burn your fingers. So you gotta be very careful. The nice thing about this Kanak one though is you can hold it by this um, hard plastic top and it won't burn your fingers. Um, another thing about doing that is because it's a little bit difficult, right, to slide on and off, um, it's great that it doesn't leak, but if it is still very warm when you're pulling the top off, be extra careful not to like rip it open. I don't know, I've never seen anything like that happen, but you know, just be careful, be mindful, take your time. Um, both of these are pretty easy to clean out on trail. Uh, again, boiling water, um, you can use a couple dabs of soap. I like to put a couple dabs of soap in here, put some water in here and shake it pretty vigorously and then let it go out. I personally only carry one of these when I'm on trail. So I have uh, either baggies or some other options that we're gonna talk about to um, that hold my dry food that needs to be rehydrated. And then I keep one baggie to actually do the rehydrating in. And I just keep washing that guy. So our next option is a, a fabric-based baggie. Um, this guy has a true zippered top, which is nice. The inside is lined. I would not call this waterproof. I would call this like water like friendly or like water resistant like, right? So the outside, like if this, if your water bottle spills in your lunchbox, your stuff in here will be protected for like a little bit of time, but in no way would I put like wet items inside side of here, right? Um, this is going to be for like light snacks, bips and bops, right? Some like pretzies or, you know, dry kind of snackable items. Uh, I also put some like grapes, things like that in here, just not something that's going to like get it like really mushy or wet. Something to keep in mind about these guys is they do stain. So, and they can grow mold because they are like fabric based. So keep that in mind, make sure that you wash them really, really well. Um, when you're on trail, I like to put a couple dabs of stuff in my hand and like lather it up in my hand, almost like it's, I'm washing my hands. And then I like use that kind of in between my hands and I get into the corners and rinse it out really well. I typically do not bring these backpacking, but I will bring these for like day back country, like hikes, excursions, split boarding, things like that. And the last option we're gonna talk about is wraps. Now, again, just like those baggies, I would not personally use these for like through hiking or long backpacking trips, but these are really, really great for short hikes and like, day backcountry foies, right? So all of them are going to be very similar. This one is a plastic based one. They also come in a vegetable based uh, wax and beeswax. So you have a couple of different options. Um, they're all gonna be origam or like origami based basically. So your sandwich or your food item, whatever, goes in the middle, it folds over and it closes um, this one in particular closes with Velcro. The wax-based ones, you don't need to have Velcro because it'll stick to itself. It needs warmed up a little bit, but generally you can warm that wax up with your hands if you just kind of like rub your hands together or rub the wax in between your hands. So that's a bunch of different options for you to use in the back country to avoid using single use plastic baggies one time and pitching them. Uh, there are many other items that you can use, but these are the ones that I have used for several years and can personally recommend. If you have something that's a favorite for you, put it in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you on my next adventure.